Welcome back to my channel. It's time for another chapter review of Milgram. Welcome once again, guys. Milgram is a series that I started back in December. Now, uh, posted the videos here in January, and now I am reviewing the rest of it. Uh, and probably this will be posted in February. But uh, yeah. I'm trying to get more of it reviewed. Uh, time of recording, there is about eight chapters. Uh, some released this month, so we'll get more to it. Um, a few things. Oh, gosh, what 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 a chapter! It is an intense series. I will say, mature content. Uh, just heads up. Um, if if you're not into gore or suspense or anything like that. Then I have other series, definitely other series that I post here uh, that are not in that level or genres. So uh, just FYI, that's what this one is all about. So uh, yeah. Uh, also, guys, if you haven't done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give some love by comments, liking, and sharing. You guys can also follow me on social media in the description below. It's all good links. So make sure you're following me all there. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that is coming up to my channel. Um, Hopefully, we can get back to monetization soon, so so we'll see. Okay. Uh, last we left off, Milgram, um, the guard was, she, she kind of was freaking out because the girl that she was, um, she was talking to, she herself, when she touched her, she noticed and um saw some of her of 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 her scenes now um here 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 is part of it i won't show too much of it but this is uh, i think this is the one i used for the cover of my video uh, um definitely her killing someone for the sake of senpai that's all she's saying um she kind of freaks out uh comes back to it and doesn't tell them what's going on just runs away and bumps into the bunny rabbit character now bunny rabbit character <laughs> maybe i watched my first two chapter reviews he's kind of like the one that knows everything but is keeping secrets from her lets her know that basically by coming close to one of these prisoners uh, the guard, if if touched the their journals, she's able to see a little bit of what they're convicted for. Um, so she is definitely seeing reality, and she's questioning it still. She's like, "Can I even trust him?" Um, but she's like, "Well, there's not much I can go for at this point, other than there is." definitely something going on here so she's still doubting what she saw is even true and not maybe whoever's running this playing tricks with her so um and this, this girl is called nervous we don't really get more to it um i want to assume that maybe she had someone who brought her out of her shell and maybe they got hurt or something or they manipulated her and she ended up killing someone for them or because they hurt their their, their senpai so uh the guard kind of steps into this library which is the chapter name of this uh, chapter which is the library of sin and within this library she notices that there's there's like no view to the top there's so many books and before she tries to open one uh another prisoner who is there tells her to not touch it now this prisoner is called torch and he's the weirdest of them all <laughs> he's kind of an introvert tells her that he's he hangs out there because he doesn't like to hang out with the other prisoners he all tells her that she shouldn't stay in the library too long because she'll start hearing and seeing some of the stuff of the other people's sins and yeah she notices that there's like a dark darkness to the room that she herself is bothered by it now she does go into a rant with him trying to convince him to kind of come and hang out with him um and the other people and eat and she kind of plays the whole well i'm the guard and i'm ordering you to do it and she's like well um what what are you gonna do about it it's like well i don't know but it seems like whoever is running this 
they're going to take it serious. So, um, she, the chapter ends almost abruptly. She kind of confessed, not confesses, uh, explains to him that she is going to do her best to care for all the prisoners, even him, even the weird one, right? And he kind of goes, okay. And that's how the chapter really ends. Not really in a cliffhanger other than her restating that she is trying her best to help these people. Now, personally, um, I don't really know why, but I have a gut feeling that most of these people, with the exception of maybe one, they were either enticed, brainwashed, um, maybe self-protected themselves, something. I feel like they weren't particularly murderers as the word defines what the murderer a murderer is with intent and them actually plan for anything like that. I think it was more of, you know, they were pushed into it or maybe they had to defend themselves, so on and so forth. So I, I think that's where the story is going, the direction it's going. Because um, her as a guard character, she's not, she's almost not given into the, the simplistic answer of, yeah, they're all murderers, which means they all deserve to die, right? Which I think a lot of people think that way. You know, if you're a murderer, there's there's no justification to it. So you deserve to die, which makes no sense because then what do you do about war and all these people that went to war, right? Uh, all these soldiers that do kill people and sometimes their justifications ain't the best. So um, what do you do with people like that? Do you just tell them that there's no salvation for them? I mean, I don't think so, but um, it, it, it draws that good, good question. And, and same thing with people that defend themselves in domestic abuse or whatever, like, uh, are they entitled to a different judgment or are they, they still fall into the, you're a murderer because you killed someone and there's no way around it uh, situation. So uh, I'm hoping that it's the latter and not this, you know, it, they're just crazy people who did kill people and they just forgot. Um, I, I hope it's not that direction. So, We'll see what we see. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you haven't done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give some love by commenting, liking, and sharing. And I will, guys, I will see you next time. Like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.